excited. You've, you've tuned in on a special night, guys. This is huge. Tonight, we are not going to start off by talking about Donald Trump. <laughs> Incredible. Incredible. That's right. We're going to talk about Ivanka Trump. Um, <laughs> because did you see this? Ivanka Trump is getting an office in the West Wing of the White House, despite previously stating she would not take a formal role in her father's administration. The administration has said that Ivanka is going to act as her father's, quote, eyes and ears. <laughs> yeah. Which basically means she's going to be walking around the White House going, right, that's it, I'm telling my dad. <laughs> um, I'm, I am glad Ivanka is going to be her father's eyes and ears. Now we all have to do is for her to take over his mouth and his tweeting thumb. <laughs> And we'll be fine, but we want to congratulate Ivanka on her, on her White House office. Not to be outdone, Donald Trump Jr. is getting his own stump on the White House lawn. <laughs> uh, in other news, uh, Disney World has agreed to pay $3.8 million to workers who were making less than minimum wage and had to pay for their own costumes. I know. They had to pay for their own costumes. It works out to around $238 per person which is almost enough to buy a bottle of water at Disney World. <laughs> I mean, I guess at Disney World, if Cinderella loses her glass slipper, a prince doesn't bring it to her, they just take it out of her next paycheck. <laughs> but they knew they had to pay their employees more when Mickey Mouse showed up to work like this. <laughs> no, Mickey Mouse! No, you're not. Shut up! Um, <laughs> Uh, and we wanted to tell you about this. There's a hair salon in Germany that is now offering a neck massage that is performed by, get this, a four-foot python. I know. Snakes in a hair salon. I don't know about you, but I have had it with these <laughs> snakes. <laughs> on my <laughs> mouth. <laughs> I will say... Word of advice, if you're going to get a massage from a constricting snake, do not get the happy ending. <laughs> don't ask me how I know, I'm just saying don't. <laughs> and finally, we wanted to tell you about this story. The beer company Stone Brewing in San Diego has just introduced a new beer that is, and this is true, made with treated sewage water. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, this is all true. The brewery says the beer has some, quote, caramel notes. <laughs> yeah. I bet it does. <laughs> uh, now, this beer is called Full Circle, and it's not the only beer they're making out of recycled sewage water. They're coming out with a whole line. They've also got Stone Brewing IPA. <laughs> Stone Brewing Extra Brown Ale. <laughs> and Stone Brewing Someone Had Asparagus Last Night Lager. <laughs> 